Yuck! Grass flavour! Mmm, chocolate! Ugh! Earwax flavour! Come on, Harry, get to the common room. Shouldn't you be elsewhere, Mr. Potter? Dependo! Harry! Harry! What's up? It's Neville. You've got to come to the common room quickly. Mmm, coconut. Oh, mmm, coffee. No doubt you'll soon be completing your collection, Harry. The Chudley Cannons are doing well this year. I don't think the fat lady's really fat. She's just big bone. Password? Caput Draconis. Want to trade a wizard card, Harry? Why not?
second. Leg locker, locker curse. Malfoy. Malfoy. I met him outside the library. He said he'd been looking for someone to practice that on. You're worth 12 of Malfoy. The sorting hat chose you for Gryffindor, didn't it? And where's Malfoy? His thinking Slytherin. Thanks, Harry. I think I'll go to bed. Do you want the card? You collect them, don't you? <gasps> I found him. I found Flamel. Listen to this. Dumbledore is particularly famous for his defeat of the dark wizard Grindelwald in 1945, the discovery of the 12 uses of dragon's blood, and his work on alchemy with his partner, Nicholas Flamel. I knew the name sounded familiar. Anyway, I'm worn out. I'm off to bed. Fishy! Sardine flavour! Mmm, peppermint! I don't think the fat lady's really fat. She's just big boned. There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. Did you complete your famous Witches and Wizards car collection, Harry? I bet there's some still hiding around Hogwarts. Dear Harry, I heard Professor Snape ask you to find some moon dew for your potions class. I can't believe he would ask such a thing. Moon dew only comes out at night and it's found deeper into the Forbidden Forest than is safe for a first year to go. Meet me in my garden tonight and I'll take you to where it grows. That way you'll be safe. Hagrid. Yuck! Grass flavour! Mmm, coffee! What was that noise? Flavor.
What's going on here? Is that you, Harry? Hurry up. I want to get started. Right then. Now, listen carefully. Because it's dangerous what we're going to do tonight. And I don't want no one taking risks. There's a unicorn in there being hurt badly by Summit. This is the second time in a week. I found one dead last Wednesday. Could a werewolf be killing the unicorns? Not fast enough. It's not easy to catch a unicorn. They're powerful magic creatures. I never knew one to be hurt before. And what if whatever hurt the unicorn finds us first? There's nothing that lives in the forest that'll hurt you if you're with me. Right then. Follow me. A wizard card! Chauncey Oldridge 1342-1379 First known victim of Dragonpox Chocolate. Stay close, Harry. Defendo. Lumos! 
chocolate. Oh, sprout. Ugh, try. Mmm, curry. Rip. Mmm, toast. Revolting! Vomit flavour! A wizard card! Leopoldina Smethic, 1829 to 1910. First British witch to referee a Quidditch match. You all right there, Harry? The, the unicorn's dead, Hagrid. It's in that clearing back there. What was that thing? A monstrous creature. It is a terrible crime to slay a unicorn. Drinking the blood of a unicorn will keep you alive even if you are an inch from death, but at a terrible price. For you have slain something so pure that from the moment the blood touches your lips, you will have a half-life. A cursed life. But who would choose such a life? Can't you think of anyone? Some say he died. Cards him all up in my opinion. Don't know if he'd enough human left in him to die. Do you mean to say that that thing that killed the unicorn, that was drinking its blood, that was Voldemort? I'm saying nothing. Let's get going. You want to be careful out here, Harry. Guy trashes sometimes roam the grounds at night. Big, horrible dog spirits. You'd better have your Lumos spell handy to scare them off. You mean, you know who's out there, right now, in the forest? But he's weak, he's living off the unicorns. But if he comes back, you don't think he'd try to kill you, do you? I think if he'd have had the chance, he might have tried to kill me last night. And to think, I've been worried about my potions lesson. I've got to learn how to mix the antidote to common poisons. I hope you've collected all of the ingredients. Mmm, top. 
Revolting! Vomit flavour! Mmm, peppermint! No doubt you'll soon be completing your collection, Harry. Ah, uh, Potter. Anything interesting happened last night? I wouldn't go in if you haven't collected all of the ingredients Snape asked for. Fancy trading wizard cards, Harry? Why not?
cauldron cake. Mmm, <laughs> peppermint. I need to find somewhere to put these gnomes. Oh. Yuck! Grass flavor.
A wizard card! Sasharissa Tugwood 1874-1966 Pioneer of beautifying potions. Discovered pimple-curing properties of bubotuber pus. A wizard card! Honoria Nutcombe. 1665 to 1743, founded the Society for the Reformation of Hags. A wizard card! Oswald Beamish 1850-1932 Pioneer of Goblin Rites Cake. Looks like the shape of a flubber worm. Defendo! Defendo!
This must be a flower worm. Dependo. Now, how do I get the mucus? Dependo. 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 There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. Nice day for a run across the grounds, eh, Potter? Want to trade a wizard card, Harry? Sure.
Fancy trading wizard cards, Harry? You have collected all the required ingredients for the antidote to common poisons. The antidote to common poisons is in the large cauldron over there. You can fill your potion vial when required. Quidditch against Slytherin today? Good luck, Potter. Then again, now that you've proven yourself against a troll, a little game of Quidditch should be easy work for you. Even if it is against my boys. Thank you.